This is Jason with Glitch in the System. Today we are going to do the What Do I Wear quiz from Udacity's front-end web development course. So here are the instructions. So using the size chart above, create a series of logical expressions that prints the size of a t-shirt based on the measurements of shirt width, shirt length, and shirt sleeve. These are all the valid sizes. So going down further and it says if the shirt width, shirt length, and shirt sleeve don't fit within the range of acceptable values for the specific size, then print A. So what this means is that the value, if you want a small size, the value has to be between 18 and 20 for width, 28 and 29 for length, and 8.13 and 8.38 for sleeve. If one of these values is outside of that range, then you will get NA. All right, so let's look at the starter code that they gave us. Let's pull that over here and let's start doing it. All right, so this is going to be a bunch of if statements. So I'm going to do start with so I'm going to start with a shirt width. All right, and then that needs to be greater than or equal to 18. And then we need to also do shirt width is less than 20. So this gives us our range. So it can be 18 or above, but it can't be greater than 20. And it can't even be 20. So that's what we said right now. All right, uh, we need to do another one of these for length. But let's do this first. Let's wrap this around a parenthesis so that everything is inside there. So, and then we have to say and. So this has to be true. And the next set of values need to be true also. So shirt length. So the same thing, greater than or equal to 28 and and shirt length is less than 29. All right. And then next one, one more. Shirt sleeve greater than or equal to 8.13. Oops. And shirt sleeve is less than 8.38. All right, so that one is done. So we need to tell what happens. So console.log, and what we have to print out is the size. So capital S there. Okay, pretty easy. All right, so to make this go by a little bit faster, I'm gonna copy this, and hit else, paste. So this is going to be medium else paste this is going to be large else paste this is going to be excel else paste this is going to be 2 xl and this is 3 xl oops and then last one is going to be else so this is what happens if it doesn't match any of those conditions. And then it's going to be console, oops, console.log n a. All right. OK, so now we need to go back in and fix our values here. So for the next one, for medium, it's going to be 20 and 22, and then 29 and 30. Oops, looks like I made an error here. This should be 28. So 29 and 30 next one is 38 and 36863. Eight, I'm sorry. All right, and then repeat. So this is 22 and 24. This is going to be 30 and 
31. This is going to be 63. And 88. Okay, and the next one for XL is going to be 24. 31. And, oops, 24. Oops, getting confused here. 24. And 26. So 31 and 33 is the next one. And 88 and 963. So it looks like the sizes jump up once you get up to this range. And then the next one is going to be, what are we at? 2XL. So 26 and 28. Oops. And this is going to be 33. And 34. And then this one is going to be 9.63 and 10.13. All right. And the last one, you can see there's no range. It just has to be greater than this size. So I'm going to change this a little bit. So we actually don't need this second part of for each size. So we just need to make sure that first number is greater than or equal to that value. So 28, 34, and 10.13. All right, <clears throat> let's grab all this, put this in here, I'm gonna delete that and paste this in here. Okay, so let's test this out. So let's do the first one for small 18, and 28 and 8.13 test run we should get s good same thing for the next one 20 22 oops not 22 20 and 29 8.38 okay test run okay good uh, we're also going to want to test to make sure that so right now we're hitting this one so e equals or greater than 20 uh, I'm going to put 21 in there because let's see what make sure that it still works with 21 all right good all right, I'm not going to test the rest of these except for the last one. So the last one should be NA. So I'm just going to put a five in here because I know that's not going to match anything. So perfect. So I'm going to submit the answer. Well, try again. Verify the conditional statements are producing the correct output. So did something wrong. So I'm going to guess that I put a number in incorrectly. Oh, I see it right here. So 20. 22, 24, this should be 26. So this is probably why it, a good reason to test every variation of your code, but I was trying to skip over that because I didn't want the video to be too long. All right, so that works. And I am gonna show you something else here. So that works, but do you notice that we have a lot of repetition here? So this and this are actually the same value. This and this are the same value. This and this are the same value. This and this are the same value. So what happens if they change their sizing chart? If they change their sizing chart, then we have to update not only one value, but two in two different places. So I'm going to go ahead and create variables out of each one of these. So let's say, let's call this small. Let me go back up to the sizing chart to make it easier. Small width equals 18. For small length equals 28. For small sleeve equals 8.13. And just to keep the video as short as possible, I'm just going to do this for first first couple ones just to show you. Um, but you'd want to do this for for all of them. Uh, so I'm going to do medium. Oops. Actually, I'm just going to try to make this go a little bit faster here. I'm going to copy all this. All right. 
medium, medium, medium. All right, this book should be sleeve. Okay, so this one should be 20. This is 29. Oops. And this is 8.38. Okay, so what this would look like is instead of this 18, we're going to put this in there instead. And then length. Let's see, length. And then sleeve. Sleeve, all right. And then this is going to go here. This is going to go here. And this is going to go here. All right. So, and let me just show you this. I'm going to go that there, that there, and that one goes there. So, since I didn't do the rest of them, I can't. Uh, I'm not going to show you that that part uh, just just for time's sake. Um, but I think you guys get the idea. So I'm going to paste this in. And then let's just make sure that our first one still matches. So this is going to be 18, 18, 28, and 8.13. So this one, when I run it, it should give me S. It does not. So what did I do wrong? 18, 28. Let's see. Let me look over here. Short width is greater than or equal to small width. Okay. And less than medium width. Okay. Greater than or equal to small length. Okay. Less than medium. Oh, that's what I did. You see this? I put the wrong variable there. So medium needs to be medium length. Okay. And then. This is sleeve, and this one is actually wrong also. Okay, let me make sure I got it right here. Width. And then the next one is, oh, I did all sorts of wrong today. Length, and... All right, let's try this again. That is a... User error. All right. Um, eighteen, twenty-eight, point one three. All right. Test run. S. All right. So you can see that we accidentally made it past our our negative scenario, but we fixed the code, and it now prints S, and we don't have to update every spot that we use the 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 values for. Uh, for a small width, small length, and all that stuff. So let's make sure. Oops, I lost everything. Let's go back. Let me copy this one more time. And I'm not sure if. Oh, it didn't go away. I'm not sure if Udacity will accept this, but let's try. It doesn't, but. Uh, you can see that it works. Um, and control C, test run. All right. Anywho, so looks like Udacity was looking for numbers, but uh, you can also use variables uh, in place of that. And this is pr the preferred way to do it if you're out in the real, real world, because um, if you have values that are repeated over and over again. So this small width uh, could be repeat, repeated in other places also. You only have to make the update in one place rather than in multiple places. So, all right, um, that's it for this lesson. Uh, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And until next time.